This one's even bigger, and it's really, really cool. Now, when I say bigger, I mean storage-wise, but what's cool about it, these guys have made such cool tech now. So this is from SanDisk. I will show you this real close. So this is the dual drive USB type C. So if you're on one of the newer Androids in the last five years, probably, you know, this thing has a little tiny hole there for maybe a lanyard. Doesn't come with one. And then this little slider, but check this out. There is your type A, there's your type C. Center is protected. You can throw that in your pocket and lose it in the wash. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, we won't lose it in the wash. If you guys want to see any of these other products, again, let me know. So again, this is the USB Type-C. This is 256 gigs. It's the biggest that they make in this size. And we're going to go take a look at it on Amazon. So we're going to look at my page. Now, I gave you a few options here, but these first three products are great for PC backup. They're all less than 50 bucks. This one's going to be great for backing up a PC or a MacBook at 29 bucks, and it's the highest storage. So, you know, if you saw the Samsung Fit, that's really small, very durable, very fast. This one's not as fast as that, even though it's 3.1. But let me show you the trick on this one. I can take it and I can put it in the bottom of my Android phone. Now, I didn't hit anything on the screen, but it popped up there. And there is my SanDisk drive. And it's going to give me options to go back it up. Now you can hit that backup now button. So it's got a backup in there. It's telling me I'm going to say do a manual backup. And there is my 6.06 .06 megs of photos, music, videos, documents, and contacts. Android is much better for backing up your entire phone. iPhone is going to be contacts and photos. It's not going to do text messages on the, the Duo link. This one will do all the stuff that's available and you can use it as regular storage. That's what it plugs in like. Really, really simple. And it's downloaded all my photos and items. So then I can do exactly what I did with the other one. I take it out, super duper simple. I'm gonna switch sides because I do have type C and USB three on this, this laptop. I'm gonna put it in that same USB port. If you go into memory zone, now this is the app that I was showing you. It's created a photos folder. There's pictures, screenshots. Now I really wanted to show you guys these screenshots here because this was screenshots that I took on my Android phone. So these are files that were on my Android phone. This is the installation process and the setup of the SanDisk memory zone software. What's cool about this though, is it actually has cloud capabilities. So I think it can, and I haven't looked at the software deeply enough, but I think it can actually back this up to the cloud. So there's a, a thing you can Google, it's called the 321 rule of backups. You want three copies of everything. So even your phone is considered one copy. So you want one copy here, possibly one copy on a USB and one copy maybe in the cloud. So that's a foolproof way to keep those pictures, documents, text messages, emails safe. And then you want them in at least two formats, which you've done with the uh, USB. And you want one of those to be in your house. But in this case, you know, again, super easy to install. You have to do a couple permissions things. It's Android, right? And then it runs through the app and it works really well. And that was my screenshots. Go back up here. I've got my Wisecam V3 folder and it's got my snapshot of my backyard that I took earlier today. You can see that it is successfully backing up the files off of the phone. Again, no data plan required. So if you've got a kid that maybe just has Wi-Fi, I still recommend OneDrive and I still recommend Google and all these other places for a cloud backup. But you know what? With all the, the ransomware and other stuff going on, multiple backups is a good plan. If Google Drive went down, you know, a lot of people would not be able to get to their files anymore and their phones and other stuff. So I always consider having a local backup critical, even if you have a cloud backup solution.